Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I want to talk about three sources of income every 18 year old should have right now. If you're not 18, you should be working on figuring out the best strategies to build these sources of income immediately. I'm telling you, these are the easiest ways to make money in 2024. Low strategy, low risk, low effort honestly if you put a lot of effort and you can put a lot of money out so for the first source of income ebay.com every 18 year old should have an ebay.com account have you ever seen a gary v video where he goes to random garage sales finds items for a dollar or two flips them on ebay for 20 to 30 dollars and makes some money i'm not joking every child should have these I'll show you guys one of my sales. I was purchasing and testing out this item from this Chinese company. I was able to actually get it sourced into America. It did take about a month long, but I was able to get it sourced and I sold every one of these items. Every last sleeve was sold for profit. Guys, this is absolutely necessary for every 18 year old to be starting immediately. I just don't understand why don't you have an ebay.com account. It's free. Once you verify yourself, do you understand they let you list items for free because they get paid for you making money and then they can also promote your items for you. So honestly, even if you picked a really bad item, as long as you didn't pick too many of it, you're probably going to sell it. You won't sell it for the profit you want, but you will sell it nonetheless. So till now, I have no understanding on why are there 18 year olds that don't even have an eBay account or their inventory zero on eBay. That's literally free money. You just log in every day, check out if you made a sale or not. And that's free money you could be making from so many different items around your house and even your parents' items as well. So eBay is number one and it's the easiest one to start. Let's move on to something a little bit harder to start. Next, I want to talk to you guys about TCG player. And these are in order, guys, from the easiest to start to the hardest. So you can say TCG player would be mediocre level hardness to start. You actually need to set up a nice store and put some inventory on. And all the inventory you can put on is only cards, single cards. It's more of preferable if you actually already had some card games or some card decks. But if not, it's easy once you sign up and you set up a store then you can go and find inventory how do you find inventory this one is not going to be garage sales like the one before it this one is going to be facebook you're going to go to facebook pokemon digimon and all these different card game groups and you're going to make posts uh, that you're buying collections you're buying at 60 50 percent off tcg player you're buying at uh, basically a discount but you'll buy the whole collection and people will sell you their collections people want to get rid of their stuff asap and they want to get rid of all of it together and they want to get a good price for it and you could actually be solving a problem for them and they will give you a solution to your problem by giving you their inventory tcg player in my opinion is a good source of actual consistent sales the only problem is you can only sell cards and tcg related stuff there so it's different than eBay in terms of what you're going to be putting on, which is why it's in the list, guys. It's still very easy to acquire product. You can even go to Walmart and buy some kind of random packs. And honestly, these packs are gambles. So you could make money out of every single pack. You could also lose money. It depends on how you pull. But the strategy really is that you are a gamer or that you go to Facebook, you buy these bulk lots and inventories and, and collections that are done, people are done with, and you sell these collections, you post them. There are gonna be some problems when it comes to this. In the shipping, you need to reduce your shipping cost. You need to just uh, keep it at one white envelope, one stamp, uh, try to reduce your cost, the tea bags, and all these different uh, requirements. And honestly, guys, you, gotta have, you guys have a real income potential. My last year, we made about four thousand eight hundred dollars. Uh, obviously, we didn't make any profits. Everything went to the inventory and to shipping and expenses, but still a nice source of revenue that a lot of eighteen-year-olds are not using. Now, finally, the hardest way to make money, but it's still necessary. Every eighteen-year-old should have one of these accounts. It's a YouTube channel. 
every 18 year old should have a YouTube channel. Now I will be the first one to testify how hard it is to build a YouTube channel. I'm still, I'm building a second YouTube channel currently and we are 50 subs away and it's some of the hardest stuff you've ever seen. We're getting thousands of views and we still can't get a single sub. Still necessary, you still have to push this through. Guys, this can change your life. Making, literally YouTube will pay you dollars for sitting on your booty. You're doing nothing. You go to school, you're doing your work and you upload in the nice cool video. Maybe you're uploading daily. This is the actual best strategy. You upload daily and honestly, you, you're not going to be making a lot of money if you're in a bad niche. But if you're in a locked in good niche and you get caught by some kind of algorithm and you work a little bit on your videos and you make them nice, you will be exploding in no time. It will be getting at least 10,000 views a day. And that's what? That's $10 a day. That's amazing. $10 a day right there from YouTube. Now, there are certain niches that make more money than others. I have I tried gaming that makes you like a dollar or two CPM. I tried making money online that gives you like $8 CPM. So it's on you. You need to figure out the right niche. Every niche counts and every buddy has an account on YouTube and you should really have an account. I cannot believe you don't have one right now. So those are the three different websites and three different sources of income that every 18 year old should have currently right now should immediately start setting these sources of income up. They're very simple to set up. And you'll start making some money. You'll start learning about business. You'll start learning about shipping. The best way to reduce your shipping costs. It's going to be a great adventure for you. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're here till the end. Like this video. Help us grow. Give us your ideas. What should we make a video about? What's your biggest struggles? Leave a comment down below. Besides that, I'll see you all next time. Peace, everybody.